Nothing beats that new home smell. I want to bottle it up <laughs> and use it as perfume. <laughs> Kelly Little from Fieldstone Homes is here for today's sponsored interview to talk about neighborhood life cycles and the benefits of buying a new home right now. What is a neighborhood life cycle? That is such an important part of any new home or any existing home. It applies to every single homeowner. So if you look at a lifestyle, it's pretty much where your home is in terms of either being new or if it's been sitting for a while or if it's something that needs to be renovated. So there's a lifestyle a life cycle that goes full circle from when a home starts and pretty much when it declines. Happens in every single neighborhood Absolutely. and you say there are four stages. The yep. first stage is the growth. Growth is really exciting because when you look at growth, that's what we do at Philstone Homes. We are building new communities. Growth is very cool because if you look at a new area, you've got new schools, you've got new um, everything that's going in the park, the community, uh, everything is brand new and it's so exciting so to be in those areas. Something to think about, you're not just buying a new home, you're buying new roads, you're buying the new school, infrastructure in you're buying the park, like yes. everything around you is new. Everything, when you talk about smelling new, everything smells new and everything is fresh. So you're in a brand new area and growth is exciting. That's where we're expanding and we're building new things in Utah. So benefits of buying new. Let's list a couple of those. First, you get to pick the design. The design is fantastic because you have not just things on trend, but they're all new ideas and you've got the latest and greatest. Something that I am super big on, all of your systems are new. You know, if you're bu building a new home, your HVAC is new, your plumbing is new, everything is absolutely new and it has a warranty to back it up. You might have a tankless water heater, which mm -hmm. I don't when mine went out, mm -hmm. right? Those things don't happen when you buy new. Okay, so when you're buying new, you have everything that's the greatest product that's, that's possible or available. If you're buying an existing home, believe it or not, just even the last 10, 20 years, things have improved so much. Isn't it crazy it's how much nuts. it's changed? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you get to walk into that. Look at your screen. I love the design with Fieldstone because it's so open and it's so light. All right, let's go through a couple more stages of the neighborhood. After the growth, number two is the stability. Okay, stability is once you've moved in and your community is basically done, you're kind of sitting in that moment. It's stability where it's all good. And so you have this brand new home, you're in a great new community, you're all enjoying each other, get to know your neighbors, the school, everything's working. All right, number three, decline. Okay, decline's a little harder because this is where you have to start fixing things up. And we've all been there when you've had a home and you have to start fixing things. Now that costs a lot of money and weekend time. So decline is really critical if you're buying a home and you better love your inspector because they're going to help you figure out what's going to cost you to fix it up. I love that you said weekend time, time that you <laughs> could be recreating. Instead, mm -hmm. you are fixing something around the house. And worrying, you and know, worrying. worrying. The number one thing in Utah right now is peace of mind. On a recent survey, that's what we care about. Have peace of mind. Go with the growth, go with new. It's so true. What's going out next? You're like, what is that's, going to happen? It um, is. The last one is renewal and revitalization. Okay, renewal is a little harder because that's when a community is pretty much declined to the point that it has to be revitalized. So you've driven in these communities and you're thinking, wow, everything here needs to be freshened up and fixed. That's, that's what that is. I like to go back to growth. That was my favorite part of the, of the life cycle and I'm sure it is with Fieldstone too. Yeah. Where is the growth when it comes to your new communities? Okay, we have two new communities we're doing VIP lists on again. One is up in Clearfield and it's Heritage East. It's going to be coming this summer. You got to get on our VIP list to find out about it. The other is in Saratoga Springs. They're both amazing communities. You can check it out online. I've been to both areas. They're both gorgeous and the designs, everybody different in both neighborhoods and yeah. both communities. That's right. You've been to the park, which was just a mile uh, east of this new community. We love that. And community. you said that was selling like hotcakes. Hot so you've cakes. opened a new Hot spot cakes. and you can get on the VIP yes. list. Mm -hmm. What's the best thing to do if viewers are sitting at home right now thinking, okay, I want to dip my toe in okay. to Fieldstone Homes? Go to the website and go to a model home. We have amazing model homes. You're going to want to check those out. You'll be amazed what is available through Fieldstone Homes. All right, go to the website, everybody. You heard Kelly, fieldstonehomes.com. We're going to link you from our website as well, abc4.com slash gtu, for more on that sponsored interview. New, new, new. New. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Kelly. Thanks, Nisha. Up next, we're trying.